What's going on you guys? My name is Cleek Stallings and welcome back to another episode of Amori. Now, if you haven't seen the last episode, you really didn't miss much. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, there wasn't a whole lot that happened in the last episode. We got into a lot of fights. A lot of fights. A lot. Jesus, how many... <laughs> you know, I thought it was just gonna be a quick walk. Ah, oh, I should have taken the taxi. Oh, what is this? All natural sea cow farms. Damn, Amori is just depressed as fuck. I'm gonna go inside the barn and heal up. Can y'all get the fuck out of the way? Are you serious? No, they were trapping us. Damn, I'll be grew up to level 25. Grew up to level 25? I just meant to say leveled up to... You know what I was trying to say. To all of those who've lost lovers out there, this one is for you. Okay, so it looks, whoa. This is the end of the highway. Yup, you're telling me. And we fought Snaily. We saw that he has grown a lot. He even took down Hero and Kel for a little bit. But uh, yeah. Eventually we ended up back at this, uh, well not back, excuse me, this is the first time we've been here. We've arrived at this bridge part. And it's to a very, very deep and dark place also since apparently I need to say this at the beginning of videos there are timestamps in the description should you want to skip around to any other part of the video uh, maybe you're playing this game for yourself and you just need help or maybe you just want to skip some of my talking uh, and skip to your favorite parts of the video which is fine by me also, one more thing, uh, I want to thank you guys for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel, and if you haven't done so already, feel free to do so. You don't have to like the video right now, because we haven't really done anything yet, but just keep it in mind throughout the video. Now, a clear bridge stretches across the trench. Yeah, without any further ado, let's just get into this video. Do you want to cross it? Well, I don't think I got much of choice. Let's hope I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Look at these, like, colors. Jellyfish are very cool, but they're kind of scary, too. What is that? Okay, I guess I can't look. What the fuck is that? Everything in the ocean is so weird. It's a little like aliens. I feel like I'm on another planet. Oh, it's a hole. Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would really like to be here. Basil. You would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would've. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? What the fuck do you mean? Why do you ask that, Hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like, I still miss him, but it's hard to remember why. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil is our friend. And more importantly, he needs our help. 
You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him. As long as we have a Mori to keep us on track. Uh, I don't know. You might be depending on me a little too much. <laughs> all that time, Basil has been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet if he could use his big... Wait. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Yeah, I think we all need a big hug, honestly. We've been through some traumatic experiences. Then, when we're all together again, we should all give him a big old hug. Aw. It's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. <laughs> well, that lasted for about 15 seconds. It's a new record. <laughs> Me and Kel? Get getting along? Well, what are you talking about, Hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together shortly. Alright. Now, where do we go from here? Oh. What? This is so cool. These are like pizzas. Okay, so I can't interact with them. What about this waterfall? Oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm teleporting a lot. And I can't run, so... There's that. Do I fight you? Oh my god, look at that! Blank. Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. And yet, all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed. The curse of Deep Dweller. Or Deeper Well. Oh, so is it because we're in here that we're forgetting? I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one. See where it leads us. Doesn't look like there are any enemies here, though. But I could be speaking too soon. And I don't really know where we're trying to get to. But this place is very interesting. Empty. With time... What is important will change. You must choose what you will keep and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. That's big facts right there. Big facts. Let's uh, check this hole. Okay, so are we back at the start? I think we are back at the start. Are we not back at the start? I'm a, you know, I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna check this. We're probably back at the start, but I'm gonna check it anyway. Just so that way I don't have to come back to it and be curious about it. Okay, so it didn't take us back to the start. Peculiar face indented into the wall. You're not sure what it means. I don't know what it means. No. Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you. What makes you human? Man, y'all are asking a lot of big questions. I'm just trying to find my friend, honestly. I didn't know this game would give me an existential crisis this early. Okay, so I can't run. So... There must be something that I need to do here that demands my attention. What is this? Okay, so I can't click on that. Let's go in here. I need to figure out a pattern to like find out how they're linked together. If that's even possible, I mean, whoa. Are you okay, dude? Arvenu, what if it's up to you? 
What if it's only up to you? Carry on, dreamer. You are the only one who can. Wait, wait, wait. So they're talking to me. But like through Amori into the real world. I'm the only one who can what? Are they all in trouble? Do I have to save all of them? What's down here? Oh, wait. Is there a secret room? I'm going to try to be on the lookout for secret rooms. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to go in there. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to check over here. Okay, so there's nothing over there. Like I said, I'm going to be on the lookout for secret rooms because I know that there are secrets here now. I almost thought that was a watermelon. Minus. It's selfish to dream for so long when there are those who are expecting you. Wow, I feel like you're talking to me like in real life. Real, real life. Like, <laughs> Decay. Time will always move forward. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this well, don't you, Dreamer? So they're all referring to me as Dreamer. Which means they're aware that this is not real. So they're self-aware, but what are they trying to tell me? And I don't think there's anything this way. Okay, yeah, we came from that way. I'm going to check out that other hole. And hopefully... Hopefully it takes me to where I need to be. Can I get the wa watermelon? Watermelon in the water. Got life jam. We're good because I'm probably going to need it. Ought. When trouble shows itself, there's always a choice to run. But one day you may very well find yourself running alone. Ooh. Ooh. Get some snaps on that. That was poetic. Like I say, if I gotta fight, I guess I gotta fight. But Because my friends aren't going to be here forever. Okay. I didn't get to check down that. Can I go back up? Okay, so I can go back up. I'm gonna check down. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Chipper. Cypher. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Are you referring to Mari? Okay, so I'm going back into my bag of theories. Alright, theory time, everyone. Theory time. So, oh, there's a hand. So what I'm thinking happened is maybe... Basil has something to do with Mari's death. Either Basil or Amori has something to do with Mari's death. And I know that we can visit her grave. And I'm going to try to do that. Hopefully I can go through back to the real world and get to the graveyard and actually see her grave. And maybe Hiro and Kill will be there with me. I'm not sure. And before I go that way, I want to check this way. But yeah, I'm thinking that Mari is like, she's dead, but what happened? Whoa. To think I almost missed this. Branch Coral. A long time has passed since you ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you would choose. The big yellow cat, white space. Okay, so I think I'll get to ask him more than one question, but just in case I can't, I wanna ask him about this. Would you like to know more about your lost friend? Yes. Your friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. He cannot leave this place alone. To retrieve him, you have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world. For headspace. Whoa. This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, Dreamer. Is there anything else you would like to know? 
Yes. I'll lay them out for you. Okay, so. He said Basil is not in this world. And he also said that he couldn't leave on his own. And I have to leave in a way that is going in accordance with the way that this world operates. So. But every time I go to sleep, I come to this world. So is he continuously in the dream? Even when he's awake? Because that would explain why he sees certain things in real life that aren't actually there. Okay. Uh, Big Yellow Cat. Let's go with that one. You'd like to know about the Big Yellow Cat. Yes. Before the world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond the cavern. What? Okay, so the oldest. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. Wait, wait, wait. Opposed the dreamer's will. So the dreamer is me. The oldest is... The oldest might be their dad. Because it opposed the, the dreamer's will. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite of Big Yellow Cat was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day. Watch, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. Oh, he's talking about Miwo. Is there anything else you would like to know? Okay. And it also says she, so I guess it's not his dad. Maybe it's his mom. Okay, the oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. I will lay them out for you. Okay. Let's ask about white space. Yes, I would like to hear about white space. To be in white space is to be in nothing. White space is emptiness. A home without warmth. A place to survive, but not to live. Even still, your consciousness cannot be erased. You'll always find a way in. Or it will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form. And if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb. The oppression of an idea. Yes. Perhaps it is time to admit that you are human, dreamer. You have listened well. I've granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There's a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simply without thought, and if you succeed, it will be gone. Or, okay, I kind of skipped that last text. Uh, I offer you this sacrifice. We take this opportunity. Okay, yeah, I understand. Stand very still, dreamer. Okay, so I'm getting some kind of power? Oh, this reminds me of that thing in Sweetheart's Castle. Okay, so do I take the apple? A red, juicy apple hangs from this tree. Sure, let's eat the apple. I'm assuming that's what he wants me to do, because he sounds like he's trying to help me. Oh my god. Was he just eating the face? What the fuck? Amori gained 50 heart. Amori gained 50 juice. Gained 10 attack and 10 defense. And 10 speed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So did... I'm so lost. <laughs>
What? I think... God damn it, I can't make it out. I think I feel... God, I can't make it out. Oh my God. I'm gonna try one more time. I can't hear a voice anymore, only screams. All right, let's get out of here. I think we got what we needed from here. Yeah, there's so much information. I'm just trying to process it while also trying to move forward. I guess that's life at the end of the day, you know? You get all this information. Okay. Let's go in here. Whoa. Okay, so let's go past the glowing trees and the pizza plants. What are you? Okay. An unhollow burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? Change the future for who? For me? Or for other people. Because I don't know if I want that burden, honestly. Like, people should be able to decide what they want to do with their own lives. Oh, picnic basket. I'm going to save. All right, you guys, I'm going to end that episode there. There's a lot to digest. The last episode was a lot about fighting and training and leveling up. This episode was about learning and growing and bridging the gap between that dream world and this, this thing we call life, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm still confused as to what's happening, but I'm going to try to think about it some more. And hopefully you guys will continue to be along for the journey. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching these videos. It really does mean a lot to me. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And if you are, let me know down in the comments, you know. I really do want to hear from you guys. And, uh, yeah. I want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing and continuing to support this series and even as it's starting to come to a close i only find that you guys are more into it so that's reassuring but yeah thank you guys so much again and i will talk to you all in the next video